With the Afghan insurgency still growing after a huge troop increase, no amount of spin can hide the fact that the Afghanistan war isn't making us safer, and it's not worth the cost. But that hasn't stopped the Pentagon from deploying a half billion dollar PR apparatus to try to manipulate public opinion and extend the war. You see Petraeus on this uh, media blitz. Um, he's out there talking to Meet the Press, the New York Times, Washington Post. Staffers put together print, radio, and television stories that they send out to thousands of news outlets across the country. They're stories that look like any other news item, and the public is not told it was produced by the military. On this episode of In the Fight, General David Petraeus takes over as commander of ISAF and U.S. forces in Afghanistan. And Marines improve the lives of an Afghan community. The Pentagon spin machine is truly gigantic, rivaling the size of the entire State Department. This huge message machine is being used to fabricate a narrative of progress in Afghanistan to fight back against calls to end the war. We're making progress. Progress, progress, progress. Making progress. I honestly think it will be a few years before conditions on the ground are such that turnover will be possible for us. But this is just the latest in a string of false narratives fed through the message machine to try to shore up public support for the war. Just as military officials made up stories about Private Jessica Lynch to boost morale and create a patriotic narrative, Army officials initially said Pat Tillman was killed in a firefight with insurgents. Even some of Pat Tillman's fellow soldiers were told to lie about what happened. Just as in the Tillman episode, the major U.S. media networks are complicit in Petraeus' deceptive campaign to extend the war. With a half-billion-dollar media apparatus behind them, the generals and Pentagon officials are pushing for more war, while major media outlets in the United States are failing to ask the tough questions. But no matter how many millions the military spends on deceptive PR, the facts on the ground show the war isn't working, and it's not worth the cost. Join us as we fight back against the spin.